Hello, my name is Javier Estudillo. I'm the manager of Estudillo's Elite Truck Driver Training and Truck Rental. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a pre trip inspection the way it's done in the state of Texas. Okay? Mi nombre es Javier Estudillo, yo soy el, el encargado, el gerente de la compañía Estudillo's Elite Truck Driving Training y Truck Rental. Ahora este día les voy a enseñar cómo hacer una inspección de viaje al camión, lo que se requiere en el estado de Texas. Hay tres secciones, there's three sections, A, B, and C. We need to know all the three sections, okay? Besides A, B, and C, we got to do the coupling, which is the fifth wheel. We need to go inside the truck and do an in-cap and also do an air brake test. Okay, all that I'm going to show you on this video so you can make sure that by the time you go to DPS, you're going to know your pre-trip inspection. So, les voy a explicar en español y en inglés. Ahorita les voy a enseñar cómo hacer una inspección del viaje antes del viaje, como se requiere aquí en el estado de Texas. Hay tres inspecciones, A, B y C. Hay que saber dónde empezar y dónde acabar. Ok, es muy importante porque el día del examen a ustedes nomás les van a decir qué sección van a hacer, A, B o C. Cualquier sección que hagan A, B y C, como quiera tienen que hacer la quinta rueda. Ok, el in cap, chequear el, el, adentro de la troca y hacer un chequeo frenos de aire. Todo eso incluye. Nos dan 45 minutos para hacer la inspección. Ok. So, ese día que tú hagas el examen, el, el, el oficial te va a decir qué sección vas a hacer. So, si haces A, B o C, acuérdense como quiera van a hacer el coupling, que es la quinta rueda, el link cap, que es adentro de la troca, y el chequeo de frenos de aire para ver si no traes fugas y a ver si jala el sistema de emergencia. So, today I'm going to show you how to do a pre trip inspection. I'm going to start with A. We need to know where to start start and where to stop. Okay, let me remind you, very important, You, will, the examiners will ask you if you're done. The answer is no. They will ask you several times if you're done. If you say that you're done, you will get disqualified. Okay, you're done until you do the five miles per hour and check the service break. So, si ustedes dicen, cuando hacen la, la inspección, por si acaso les toca A y termina la A y el oficial les pregunta si ya terminaron y si dicen que sí, ahí los califican. La respuesta es no. La, no, cuando terminas, cuando hagas 5 millas por hora en el camión y vas a checar el freno de servicio. Ahí se termina la inspección. So que no los vayan a, a tratar de, de como dice la palabra, triquear, trick. Si dicen que sí, ahí los descalifican. So voy a empezar con la inspección A y ya me voy con la inspección B y de con la C y ya me voy al camarón, a la troca por dentro, a hacer el link cap y de ahí el chequeo de frenos de aire. So vamos a empezar con la A. Ok, I'm going to start with the section A. You're going to stand in front of the tractor. You're gonna stand in front of the tractor and you're gonna start with the clearance lights. Okay, the clearance lights should be properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, working and proper color. From there, you're gonna go to the headlights. In the headlights, we got the high beam, low beam, emergency lights, single lights, and then you need to say they should be properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, working and proper color. From there, you're going to stay right here and say the suspension, not leaning to the left or to the right, indication of tension problems or you have a low flat tire. You're going to look under the hood, under the motor, and you're going to see if there's no puddles of oil, water cooling, or power steering fluid, which is an indication that you have a leak. We need to fix it before we leave. Then from here, you're going to open the motor.
Now we're going to go to the left side of the motor. Vamos a ir para el lado izquierdo del motor. Y este, este traigo, este camión es un Freightliner que trae la máquina Detroit. Ok, esta máquina trae las, las cosas diferentes, pues las cosas pueden estar en, en otro camión diferentes. En esta máquina uh, traigo el turbo, el tubing, el AC compressor, alternator, water pump, la banda y el electrical wire, los alambres eléctricos. So en inglés vas a decir turbo and turbo tubing. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. AC compressor. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. This is belt driven. Alternator. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. This is also belt driven. Water pump. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. This is gear driven. We go to the electrical wire. Properly mounted secure, not broken and damaged, no missing hardware. Must be tight. Belt. Properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware, not fried or cracked, and must be tight. This is the left side of the motor. Acuérdense, en el lado izquierdo del motor, este se llama el torbo y la tubería de torbo, la compresora de ley, sí, el alternador y la pompa de agua el alambrado eléctrico y la banda ok, ahora nos vamos a ir para el lado del otro motor we're gonna go to the other side of the motor on this side we're gonna start with a water cooling container washer fluid container and power steering container properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware make sure they're not leaking and they all need bed level wanna make sure the caps are on tight Okay. Remember, when you do the pre-trip inspection, you got to point out the stuff that you're mentioning. Okay. So the examiner will ask you, where's the power steering container? So you know where it is. Okay. From here, we go to the hoses that come out of the containers. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not crack or fry. Make sure they're not leaking. Make sure they're tight. From here, we're going to go to the power steering pump. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. And this is gear driven. We go to the air compressor. Properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. This is also gear driven. Oil dipstick. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. This is where I would check the oil level. How would I check the oil level? I will take the stick out, clean it, put it back in, pull it out again. In case I need oil level, I will put it in the oil reserve, cap tight. This is the motor, properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware, no oil leaks. Electrical wire, properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware, no bare wires, must be insulated. This is your airlines, properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks, not fried, not cracked, make sure they're tight. Starter, properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware. We go to the frame and axle. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Now here we go to the suspension. Now the suspension has five parts. The first thing we need to say, the suspension needs to be properly mounted secure to the frame and to the axle. So we go to the spring mount. It's properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Leaf spring, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, not cracked or shifted. U-bolts, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Shock absorber, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. And in the back, I've got the hanger. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Here I'm done with the suspension. Now I'm going to go to the steering system. This is the steering shaft. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not bent, and we should have no more than 10 degree play. This is the U joint. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, make sure it's lubricated. Gearbox, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. This is your pit arm. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. This is the castle nut and the cutter pin and the bushing. 
properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, make sure the bushes are lubricated. Here you got the drag link, steering arm, and tie rod. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not bent. From here we're going to go to the brake chamber, the brake chamber and the brake chamber hose. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. And then we go to the push rod, the cutter pin, and slack adjuster. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. We need to say the adjustment of the brakes. So we're going to say push rod should have no more than one inch play with the brakes release. From here we're going to go to that inside rim. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no illegal wells, not cracked. And then we go to the brake drum and the brake pads. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not cracked. Make sure there's no oil or grease on the brake pads and not too dangerously thin. From here we're going to go to the tire. We're going to check the inner wall of the tire and the outer wall of the tire. No abrasion, bubbles or cuts. Evenly worn, 432 depth tread and 105 PSI air pressure. Outside rim, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Lug nuts all present, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no signs of rust or metal treads with indication of you have loose lug nuts. Axle seal, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks and must be level. Valve stamp, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks, cap tight. Before we finish A, we need to go to the cap door. You're going to open the cap door. And this is your cap door. Properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware. And we need to tell them that this is where we carry our extra fuses, fire extinguisher, and three triangles. This is section A. Remember, the examiner right here was going to ask you, are you done? The answer is no. From here, we're going to go to the coupling, which is also called the fifth wheel. So we're going to do the coupling right now. Okay, we're going to start with the airlines. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not fried or cracked, no leaks. Glad hands and rubber seal. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. Make sure that seal is in good condition. Electrical cord, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no bare wires, insulated. Make sure it's with the safety latch on both sides. Electrical cord and airline should not be touching the catwalk. And then you're gonna go to the fifth wheel airline. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. And then right here, you're gonna go to the fifth wheel. The first thing we need to say is the fifth wheel needs to be properly mounted secure to the frame. And then you're gonna go to the trailer apron. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. This is the fifth wheel plate. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. It should be lubricated and there should be no space between the fifth wheel plate and the apron. Pivot. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. This is the release handle. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. It should be fully retracted with the safety latch. This is a sliding fifth wheel. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. You want to make sure that the locking pins are in the lock position. These are all mountain bolts, all present. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. And then you're going to go under the trailer and you're going to point to where that the jaws and the kimping is. And you're going to say jaws and kimping, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Jaws should be around the shank of the kimping. And then you get out of the trailer and then you're going to say that there should be plenty of space between the frame and the landing gear and plenty of space from the front tire to the trailer. This is the end of the coupling. Again, they're going to ask you, are you done? The answer is no. From here, we go to the in-cap 
and the air brake test. Okay, before I go to the e cap and the air brake test, I'm gonna do section B. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with section B. Okay, today I'm gonna be begin with section B on the picture of inspection. Remember, you need to know where to start and where to stop. So this is the beginning of section B. Aquí voy a empezar con la sección B. Ok, necesitamos saber dónde empieza y dónde se acaba. Voy a empezar con la sección B. Ok, acuérdense que la inspección es todo en inglés. So voy a decir las partes en inglés y nomás repitan lo que digo yo y van a pasar el examen. So aquí vas a empezar. This is where you're going to start. You're going to start with your mirror and mirror brackets. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Make sure the mirrors are clean. Hood latches. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Mirror, mirror brackets. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Clean, no legal stickers. Steps. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Door handle. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. I should be able to close and open the door. You open the door and you're gonna go to the door hinges. Door hinges, properly mounted secure, no broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Door seal, present, properly mounted secure, no broke or damaged, no missing hardware. I'm gonna close the door. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no holes, no leaks. Fuel tank brackets. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. Fuel lines. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no signs of leaks. Fuel cap. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. The fuel cap, you gotta open it up and you gotta tell them that the seal should be present and in good condition. We're gonna go through the cap door on B. So you're gonna open it up the cap door. Cap door, properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware. This is where I carry my emergency equipment, my fuses, my fire extinguisher, and my two triangles. Signal light, properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, working in proper color. The back of the truck. This is the catwalk. Properly mounted, secure, not broken, or damaged, no missing hardware. We got the muffler, muffler shield, muffler support, and muffler brackets. Properly mounted, secure, not broken, or damaged, no missing hardware. There should need, there should be no black stains on the connections, which indi indicates that you have a muffler leak. You got the cross member. Properly mounted, secure, not broken, or damaged, no legal wells. On the bottom of the cross member, you got the drive shaft and the universal joint. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. The drive shaft not bented, universal joint lubricated. Okay, then we're gonna go to the frame and axle. Properly mounted secure, no broker or damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Then from here, we're gonna go to the brake chamber. Brake chamber and brake chamber hose. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. Make sure there's no leaks. And then in the back, you get the push rod, cutter pin, and slack adjuster. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. Push rod, no more than one inch play with the brake release. Now I'm going to my suspension. Remember, every time you get to a suspension, the first thing you need to say is suspension needs to be properly mounted to the frame and to the axle. This is your spring mount. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. This is control arm. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, not cracked or shifted. Then you got your U-bolt. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. You got your shock observer and airbag. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. I'm gonna check the tires. The first thing I'm gonna check is the inside rim, 
properly mounted and secure, not broken damage, no missing hardware, not cracked, no illegal wells. My brake drums and brake pads, properly mounted and secure, not broken damage, no missing hardware, not cracked, no oil or grease on the brake pads, and not too dangerously thin. Now we're going to check two tires. We're going to check the inner wall, outer wall of the tires, no abrasion bubbles or cuts, evenly worn, 432. I'm sorry, 232 jet trip and 100 PSI. Between the rims, there should be no space and no clutter. And then we're gonna go to the outside rim. Properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Axle seal, properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no leaks, level. Lug nuts, all present. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no signs of rust or metal threads, indication of a loose lock belt. Valve stamp. Valve stamp, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no leaks, cap tight. Mud flap. This is your mud flap. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. It should be 8 inches from the ground. And before we finish the B, we need to sell the tail lights. We have the emergency light, stop light, single light, reverse light, and license plate light. Properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, no missing hardware, working in proper color. Okay, this is the end of section B. This is with section B is over. Again, the examiner will ask you, are you done? The answer is no. From here, remember, if you do A, B, or C, the next step is the coupling, and then the ink cap, and then the air brake test. Okay? Right now, now I'm going to start with C before I go to the ink cap and the air brake test. So now I'm going to start with C. C is the trailer. Okay, now I'm going to do a section C. Okay, the section C is the trailer all the way to the back. Ahorita voy a empezar con la sección C. La sección es la trailer desde enfrente de la trailer hasta mero atrás de la trailer, hasta la puerta de la trailer. So voy a empezar con C. I'm going to start with C. You're going to start with the header board and trailer wall. Properly mounted secure, not broken damage, no missing hardware, no holes. Clearance lights, properly mounted secure, no broken Of an emergency stop. My DOT reflector tape should be present 50% all the way to the back. The frame properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. And then you walk to the landing gear. The landing gear properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. The landing gear, gear needs to be all the way up. Crank candle. Properly mounted secure, not broke, not damaged, no missing highway, it needs to be in the lock position. And then you're gonna walk and you're gonna go under the trailer to the cross members and trailer wood floor. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing highway, there should be no holes on the wood floor. You're gonna continue walking. The first thing I have is your signal light. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware work in the proper color. Right here I'm gonna get underneath the trailer. Remember we gotta be pointing out every part that you check. Air hoses, properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware, not fire or crack, no leaks, make sure they're not touching the ground. And then I'm gonna tell the examiner that I'm gonna start from the left side because we can see better. I'm going to start with the inside rim. Properly mounted secure, not broken damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Brake drum and brake pads. Properly mounted secure, not broken damage, no missing hardware, not crack. Make sure there's no oil or grease on the brake pads and not too dangerous to tin. Suspension. Remember, the first thing we got to say, suspension needs to be properly mounted secure to the frame and to the axle. Spring mount. 
properly mounted and secured, no broken damage, no missing hardware. Control arm, properly mounted and secured, no broken damage, no missing hardware. Shock absorber and airbag, properly mounted and secured, no broken damage, no missing hardware, make sure there's no leaks. Frame and axle, properly mounted and secured, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Then we got my brake chamber and my brake chamber hose. Properly mounted secure, no broken or damaged, no missing hardware, no leaks. On the back, I got my push rod, cutter pin, and slack adjuster. Properly mounted secure, no broken or damaged, no missing hardware. Push rod, no more than one inch play with the brakes release. Now I'm gonna go out of the trailer so I can finish. Okay, these are my sliding tandems my king the pins and my release handle properly mounted secure not broke or damaged no missing hardware locking pins in the lock position release handle fully retracted with the safety latch i'm checking two tires inner wall outer wall no abrasion bubbles or cuts evenly worn 232 depth tread 100 psi there should be no space between the rim and no clutter. I'm going, going to the outside rim. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no illegal wells. Axle seal, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, level. Lock nuts all present, properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. No rust or metal treads indication of loose lock nuts. Valve stamp. Properly mounted and secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no leaks. Make sure that caps tight. Mud flap. Properly mounted and secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, 8 inches from the ground. Door tie. Properly mounted and secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware. Marker light, properly mounted and secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, working in proper color. We're gonna go behind the trailer doors. Trailer doors, properly mounted and secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, no holes. Door hinges, properly mounted and secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. Door seal, present, properly mounted and secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. Door handle, Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware. I should be able to open and close the door. My DOT tape, 100% present in the back. I got my lights. I might got my single light, emergency light, stop light, marker lights, and license plate light. Properly mounted secure, no broker damage, no missing hardware, working in proper color. My DOT bumper. Properly mounted secure, not broke or damaged, no missing hardware. Remember, this is the end of section C. Before we finish section C or A or B, we need to say what I inspect on this side, I would inspect on the other side. Or what I check on this side, I would check on the other side. Because remember, we're only doing half of the truck and trailer. So at the end of every A, B, or C, we need to say what I check on this side, I will check on the other side. Okay? Again, the examiner is going to ask you, are you done? The answer is no. Okay, now I'm going to go do the e cap and the air brake test. So follow me. Okay, before you get to the e cap, you need to tell the examiner. If he can assist you with the lights, we need to check the lights, the single light, the emergency lights, high and low beam, the stop light. So if you're gonna go in. Every time you go into the truck, you are going in with a three-point contact. Three-point contact means that you grab the rails. And that's the same way you're gonna get up. Okay, this is the three-point contact. So before you get in, you need to tell the examiner, can you please assist me with the lights? You're gonna go in, you're gonna put the seatbelt on, you're gonna say start the motor, and then you're gonna turn the headlights. 
the examiner is gonna stay on outside and he's gonna check your front lights and then he needs to walk to the back and he needs to check your back lights okay Go. so I started with I'm gonna start with my ink cap the first thing I need to tell the examiner that I came in with a three-point contact my seat belt properly mounted secure and I broke a damage when we say however make sure it's working properly and then you're gonna do a safe start safe start that you means that you push the clutch you want to make sure you're in neutral and you turn the engine on you can release the clutch okay I'm gonna start with the e cap the examiner comes in Make sure the examiner has the seatbelt on him. He doesn't have the seatbelt on, you need to tell him, can you please put your seatbelt on because I'm gonna begin with the ink cap. So let's say the examiner is already inside the truck. Remember, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell the examiner I came in with a three-point contact, the seatbelt, properly mounted secure, not broken or damaged, don't miss hardware, make sure it's working properly. I started my truck, I put the flush in, I was make sure that it was neutral, turn the motor on. Okay. I'm gonna start with the back of the truck. I'm gonna start with the back of the, the, the cap. I'm gonna mention about my three triangles, my fire extinguisher, and my fuses are in the back. My floor needs to be clean. And then I'm gonna go to, to the outside mirrors. Properly mounted secure, no broken damage, no missing hardware, no legal stickers adjusted to me. My windows should open and close. My air horn should be working, my electric horn should be working, my left single light, my right single light, my emergency lights, and my high and low beam lights should be working. My Gauges should be at normal range. My oil pressure gauge should be at 40 psi. My water temperature gauge should be around 175. And primary and secondary gauge should be around 20, 125 in this truck. And you're gonna, you're gonna go to the defrost and the heater. You're gonna turn it real fast, put your hand right there, and you tell them it's working. Heater and defrost are working. You're gonna go to the windshield. Windshield, property matter secure, no proper damage, no missing hardware, no illegal stickers. Wipers and wiper plates. Property matter secure, no proper damage, no missing hardware. Make sure they're working properly. At this one, you gotta turn in the wipers, turn them on, and make sure they are working with the washer fluid. Which is working, you turn it off. And this is where I finish my ink cap. Now I'm gonna tell the examiner I'm gonna begin with the air brake test. First, before you begin the air brake test, we need to make sure that our gauges are at 125. Once they're at 125, I'm gonna turn the motor off and put the key on the on position. Let me tell you something on the air brake test. In the air brake test, they can disqualify you. Let me tell you how they can disqualify you. If you forget to put the key on, or if you forget to push the buttons, they will disqualify you automatically. So we gotta do the air brake test right. So remember, I turn the motor off, put the key on. The first step, we're checking for leaks on the tractor and the trailer. So I'm gonna push my yellow button and my trailer button. We need to let the air settle down because remember right now when we push the button we're supplying the air to the whole truck so the gauges are going to move. So when the gauges are settled you're going to tell the examiner now that you're going to wait one minute and you should not lose three psi with the trailer brakes and the parking brakes. With the examiner you need to wait a minute okay. So once the minute is passed, you're gonna tell the examiner that there's no leaks. The second step, we're gonna check for leaks on the service brake. So we're gonna step on the service brake for one minute and we're gonna hold it steady and we should not lose four PSI in one minute. 
Remember, you need to wait the minute. Once the minute's up, you release, and you're gonna tell the examiner there's no leaks on the service brakes. Now the other two steps, we're checking for the, the emergency system. Now you're gonna tell them that you're gonna continue pumping the brake pedal, and at 60 PSI, my warning light and buzzer button, buzzer should come on. That is why you need to turn the key on, because if the key is not on, that light and the buzzer is never going to come on. Also, so it did come on at 60, so that means it's working. Now you're going to tell the examiner that you're going to continue pumping, and between 40 and 25, my valves are going to pop out. No valves. Do not touch them. They need to pop out by themselves. And you continue pumping until they pop out. You can do it faster if you want. The faster you do it, here you go. Both popped out. That means they're working. Okay, now you're going to go, go ahead and do a safe start. Remember, safe start, you need to tell them. I'm going to put the clutch. I want to make sure I'm in neutral. And I'm going to turn the motor on. I'm going to charge my RPMs to 1,000 RPMs so I can charge my gauges back to 125. Okay, my gauges are 125. Now I'm going to do a trailer brake check and a top brake check. How do I do it? I'm going to put the truck in a low gear. Go gear, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna do a little tuck test. The first one that you need to tell the examiner which one are you gonna check first. So right now I'm gonna check my trailer brakes. I'm gonna push the yellow button and the brakes are gonna be on on the trailer. And I'm gonna release the clutch slowly and just feel a small tuck. Okay, it's working. Now you put yourself in neutral again. And you're gonna pull out the parking brake, and now you're gonna push in that trailer brake, and now we're gonna check the brakes of the truck by doing the same thing. You're gonna put the truck in the low gear, and you're gonna do a small tech, tuck test. You're gonna release the clutch slowly, and you're gonna feel a small jerk. That's a tuck test. The truck, the, uh, truck brakes are working. You pull the red button now, you put yourself in neutral, and now you're gonna explain the examiner that you're going to check on the service brakes. Remember, the service brakes is the brake pedal. Okay. I'm going to put the truck in the low gear. First, second, and third. And I'm going to go five miles per hour forward. And I'm going to stop the truck with my service brake. Okay. So now I'm going to push my parking brake and my trailer brakes in. And I'm going to go forward. Five miles per hour, like 10 feet. Stop with my service brake. I'm gonna put myself in neutral. I'm gonna put the brakes again. And I'm gonna tell the examiner that the truck didn't go to the right or left. That means that the brakes are well adjusted. Okay? This is the end of the free trip. This is where you tell the examiner that you're done with the free trip. Remember when I told you at the beginning, if the examiner asks you, are you done? The answer is no, no, no. This is where you tell the examiner that you're done. Okay? Remember, the pre trip has to be done in 45 minutes. Okay? If you get section A, B, or C, it takes you about 10 minutes per section. Okay? 10 minutes per section, 10 minutes on the line, 4 minutes on the coupling, and another 10 minutes on the air brake test and the e -cam. So you have plenty of time. But if you get A, B, C coupling, in cap, and air brake test, if you do it right, it takes between 36 minutes and 40 minutes. You still got like five minutes left. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn. Let me know. Send any comments. This is Javier Studio from Studio Elite Truck Driving Center in Laredo, Texas. Thank you.